All right, guys, thank you so much for having my life, and this is my live stream again. And today is Saturday, and I, uh, you're probably thinking, hey, he's on on Saturday or yeah, it wasn't scheduled. Yes, today wasn't scheduled, but I decided to go online, online anyway. So Saturday and Sunday will be This Is Live. So I, I fully, I'm doing daily live streaming all the way, and from Monday all the way to, I, I think all the way to uh, Sunday, I mean, if it's true. So I'm doing a weekly or a daily, well, I think I should call it a daily live stream. So I want to say thank you so much for those of you who are inside the channel. And I think Kenichi is here and Kenichi was the first one to say hi. I think I'm early. Yes, you are early, but thank you so much for being here early. And I do really appreciate it. Hi, Monica, you're inside the room. So guys, let me start today's live. And um. Uh, this segment is about This Is Life. So I want to say thank you so much for those of you who are coming here. I really do appreciate it. And today I have something to share with you. And I think it can actually relate. Today's um, topic can relate to um, some of you inside this room. And also, it can definitely relate to me. So anyway, um, I hope you're doing fine. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. And then you straight away when you leave the, the live chat and when you leave the live stream, make sure you give me a like on this video, all right? So I'd like to say thank you so much for those of you who have been um, liking my last video and also watching watching my last video, my last segment. I really do appreciate it. I've been having a lot of love lately in the, in the YouTube stream and um, I'm feeling a lot of love from you guys. So uh, yeah, I, you know what they say, right? Keep the love coming and um, I feel great. And at the same time, uh, I, will, I want to give back the love to some of you. So when, whoever is inside the room, whatever you say, whatever you comment, whatever you state, I will definitely at the end of this uh, live stream and I will read it out to you and I'll shout out to your name and I'll really mention your name. If any one of you want to say hi to anyone, also a friend of you in school or anyhow, just do let me know in the chat, in the chat box. I will eventually um, shout out to them, all right? In that, let's start. This is called This Is Life and today's topic, what I'm going to um, actually, what I'm going to share with you is about something very important and something's very I think it's one of those topics that's really happening everywhere around the world and especially happening with the younger generations. I think the older generations are doing it, but I'm, uh, you know, the generations are divided into three parts, right? Baby Boomers, Gen X, and Gen Z currently right now. So I'm not sure which ones you guys are, but I just want to let you know, I think what's happening right now is um, it, it's, it's, it's throughout the generations. Yes. So before I start, I'd like to give a shout out to Flip Flip. Um, Howard. Hi, Howard. Thank you so much for being inside here. Julian is also inside here. Hello, Julian. Um, uh, you know, shouting back out to you. All right. So today I'll be talking about social media addiction. I'm not sure if you have it, um, but literally I think I would just want to say, yes, I do. Like for me, right? I mean, um, truly enough, I'll be honest with you. I think I, th I also have that addiction of social media because I think it's just a nice thing to do, you know, just um, go on social media and just say whatever you want to say. I think it's the, uh, th there's a couple of reasons why I think I know. So I'm just going to start with that first. I think it's the freedom of speech. I think you have um, the freedom of speech to say anything on your social media. And then you you can do anything. Eventually, you can say something. You can do anything. You can upload anything. You can just grab any videos and just upload it. And I, I think it's, it's that urge to just upload something and, and let everyone know who you are and your identity and let everyone else see what, how you're living and what you live life. I think that's one of the reasons why we are addicted to social media. And, all right. So um, before we start, I just want to let you know, let's watch that intro. And this is life. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I'm not sure if you're using Twitter. It sounds like udah ketahuan banget deh gue generasinya. You probably know which generation I am if I say Twitter. I know some of you inside the room don't even use Twitter. Some of you even don't use Facebook also. Now, gener the generation is very different. So I think um, all these are social medias. I think I, uh, before I start my content, my really core content, I just want to brief you um, what generation is using what social media. But I think, you know, I think the Z generation are not using Facebook anymore. 
anymore. I think the younger generation, if you're talking about um, umur when they're age of, I think, 14 to 15 and 16 and 17, I don't think so. They're using any, uh, using Facebook anymore. I think this is because I think the last time I went to see someone, I was like, do you have Facebook? And this little boy came up to me and just say, I mean, he's not little anymore. He's about 12 years old, right? He came up to me and say, huh, Facebook? What age are you? <laughs> like, like every social media is always associated to age, you know? Um, and I think that's what, one of the reasons and why sometimes I always say there's different social media for different generation. Like, I give you another example. I think uh, uh, Instagram, it's been used with throughout all generations, baby boomers, Gen X, and Gen, Gen Z. I think uh, Instagram has been used with all. I mean, at least the baby boomers is doing their best. Baby boomers are a person who is like 30 and above, you know, it's like 35 and above. So the baby boomers are actually doing their best to, you know, you know, to be adaptive to the world and they want to use Instagram, but they're not making full of it because they just think that Instagram is just uploading photos and, um, uh, you know, it's Insta story and all these things and, it's, and, and Insta IGTV. Uh, I think they're, you know, they really want to adapt to it at the same time right so i think instagram is for all I, I knew i know the generation z are using mostly instagram nowadays and they when you go up to a person you know all they ask is just you know you have instagram will you follow me and all these things all right and then the next one is i think twitter twitter i think the boomers are using it but the y and the z are less using it because i think um twitter it, it I think Twitter was um, introduced a while ago and the Generation Z is not there when the in Twitter was intru introduced. Another one is called Snapgram, but I think Snapgram is right now, uh, it's already out of the picture. It's already out of the picture and the generation. What I mean is, I think nowadays uh, the Snapgram is getting to be out there and it's not competitive enough with the rest. So I think right now the biggest social media right now, if you ask me, whoever is using it, number one is Facebook, for sure. Um, and Instagram, this with no particular order, yeah? With no particular order, the importance. So number one is Facebook. Number two is Instagram. I think they use, and last one, I don't even I, I don't even know if you call it a, a, a social media, but I think TikTok, you know, TikTok is always there. Like, and like everyone's using TikTok nowadays for social media. And I think the last one comes to Twitter. I think these are the four ones, the four heads. And the reason I tell you this first, because for me to give you awareness, what's out there in social media. All right. So um, I think my topic right now is fairly is uh, about my topic right now is fairly about the, that, the, the social media. And that's why I wanted to let you know uh, why social media is very addictive. So here it is um, to to some of you. So, I just had to pass to someone for a phone call. So, here it is. Let me start with the um, topic of your know, social media addiction. Number one, you all know this. Why are people addicted to, uh, to social media? Why are they addicted to hold their phone most of the times and just uh, look at the phone and just, you know, chat or they upload something and, and all these things? Why are they addicted to it? And sometimes, if you ever wonder, sometimes when people wake up in the morning, they don't actually go to their spouse or to the family and say good morning, but they check their handphone first to their social media. I ended up, I'm not sure if you do that, but sometimes, um, you know, uh, if, if you're somewhere at a meeting and uh, you do know that your phone, you put it on the table and you do know it's very important because it shows it, it shows meaning to the person you're having a meeting. It means that, you know, something in your phone is much more important than they are. That's the second thing. The third thing is, you know, when when your phone is on silent, you constantly look at your phone to check to check it in your social media, who's, who's direct messaging you, who's giving you inbox, who's giving you all those likes and who's giving you the hearts and you know, uh, you do know and you think and wonder and I think you, you sit down and ask yourself, um, will it ever stop? I think that's the question. Or if it stop, maybe, what will it ever calms down? But my, my, my answer is truly straight. No, I don't think so it would because social media has been, been there for a long time. And um, one of the scariest thing is, I think right now in Japan, they're having their, they're having that, that series of phase, they wanna people can get uh, people can get rejection from social media, people can get uh, obsessed with social media. I think people can be depressed with social media, and I think 
and you all know that um, no say no bad things about any country but you all know that what's really happening right now um, in Japan with the younger generations that they they the suicide rate in Japan is the highest in any other country in the world because of why because of very simple see because you do know that people needs recognition people needs love and expect acceptance and these things I'm going to talk to you at the end of my um, uh, live stream today all right so um, here it is so let's start I know some of you like if you if you're right now inside the room you're probably saying let me shout out to everyone here yeah? uh, Julian is inside the room Monica is, Pratama is also there is uh, Pratama is also inside the room so shouting out to everyone inside the room and um, please uh, you give me a statement you give me a question I promise I'll read it up to you and I'll give a shout out to your name right uh, first things first why did they use social media I think um, you got to know something um, all of the people in the world I think they tend to run to something for happiness. You know, some people in the world, they run to, when they get depressed, when they get stressed, when they get lonely, they run somewhere to get happiness. And you do know this. And it's always a, a habit that they have. It's always something that they do. And not only with the younger generation nowadays, but the older generation also. Um, everyone in the world just wants a piece of happiness and recognition and all that. And uh, the reason I'm telling you this is because I learned throughout my training years that people... They have the seven needs of no six highly needs of human being of of people. It's either you're an adult or your children, but you have six highly human need. Let me tell you what are the six. Number one, is the I think it's the need of acceptance and uh, recognition. I think you know that, and people need to know this. But uh, before I talk about acceptance and recognition, is I think people need uncertainty. That's number one. Or you love things that's uncertain, you know, you like to try out, you like, you like to try out new apps and you like, you like to do, you know, soon when TikTok went booming, you straight away, everyone just download TikTok and they just start doing it. You know, it's the, it's the world of uncertainty. Number two, the human needs are, the, it's called certainty. I mean, it's, it's, you're weird. You're probably saying, huh, people want uncertain. But another thing is people want to be certain. Yeah, these are the two things what human needs need. I mean, you and me needs this. It's like, you want uncertainty? Why? Because you like surprises. I like surprises, right? I'm sure you like surprises also. But let me tell you, you like the surprises that you want. Because the surprises that you don't like, you call it problem. So that's why people love this thing called uncertainty. Second one is they like certainty. The third one, the third human needs is acceptance. They need recognition and acceptance. They like to be accepted. They like they like people to see who they are, who their identity is. When they're accepted with other people, they feel sort of that satisfaction. And the, the fourth one is people like to feel love and i think that's one of the reason why a lot of people play social media also because through social media they get the love that they want you know sometimes it's very hard to get love from a family from a friend from teachers so they go run to social media to get that love once they get that love they feel very satisfied you you all know this and then the fifth one is i think uh the fifth of contribution people like to contribute something and i, I don't know about you but if, if you're a student the way you contribute is so, through social media. You know, you, there's a lot of students nowadays. I think the other day, ada satu anak yang raise awareness and pake uh, kitabisa.com and uh, they raise fund for COVID-19. Padahal anaknya still in high school. Padahal anaknya still SNP. And um, it's the easiest way for you to contribute to the country. And you can just play music to social media and people would come in and love your you love your idea in music. People can just stand there and do stand-up and and you will you'll be contributing to the country because you contribute laughter and and happiness and all that. You you could be just sitting in social media like I'm doing right now. Like I, I'm doing this live stream, and I feel like I'm contributing something to the country, or at least not the country for the generation to come. The third one is growth. So you got to know this. The third one is growth. Why people? Play social media is because they like to learn a lot of things and not only social media you can upload you can like you can you can you can give hearts and you can do anything else but you can actually learn from social media itself be honest with me like like i'll be honest with you like if you see tiktok right there's there there is accounts that's not for you to see but you do know this, there's accounts that you can actually learn from TikTok and you can actually, there's accounts that you can learn from Instagram. There's there's also an account that you can learn from Facebook. So I think the last one is growth. The sense of growth is, you know, they want it and they need it, I think. And that's why they are addicted with social media. And um, I think the reason I, I tell you about the six human needs is because people, if they don't get the six human need, like, like people, if they don't get the six, 
they run to something. And I think it's time for me to tell you the honest truth from me. And a lot of people run to get happiness to where pe where they're not supposed to be. Example, smoking is number one. You do know people when they're stressed, they run to smoking. And that's one of the reasons um, they get happiness from. You know, from smoking, they get happiness. They, they forget about the problems and they just, you know, they just do it. But what they don't know is they're really hurting their body. Number two, um, and people run to drinking alcohol alcohol is one of the reason why people really run to and they get happiness from there and you do know this and in the movies you know it when people get lonely when people get problems they go to the bar they go to the pub and drink you all know this but you, uh, and the last one i think people run to social media here's my catch of the day people run to social media to get happiness i think i think that's it because a lot of people say, my goal is to be happy. And I've got to tell you now, the easiest thing to do right now is just go and play social media because happiness is there. But let me stop you there before you go straight away and pick up your phone and socialize and you play social media. You see, you have to know the reason why happiness is always there. These three things, smoking, alcohol, and social media, you know why people run to that. It's because there's such a thing of this thing called dopamine in your head. So whenever you go on social media, or let me talk about smoking first. Whenever you smoke, there's a dopamine that releases in your head. And that dopamine, that substance, is a substance of happiness. Yang namanya kebahagiaan. And the more you produce that substance, the more you become happy, the more you forget about your problems. And drinking is the same. The more you drink alcohol, it gives you a sense of dopamine inside you. And that way you forget about things. And when you drink, that's why people tend to associate drinking with happiness. And that's why people always... Always when they have problem, there's there's people in the world, there's this crowd of people in the world, when they have problems, they don't go to people. Where do they go to? They go to the bottle because the bottle gives them happiness, a sense of dopamine that comes up. And I think social media is the same. And I'm going to go with my content right now. Here it is. And I think so, when you play social media, it releases dopamine in your head. And you're probably asking, how does it release dopamine? Simple. When you upload or something, you want people to see it. And the more people view, the more you're happy you are. I like IGTV, you know, it's a view thing. And, and and also if it's Instagram, it's a like thing. And the more thousand of people that likes your post, you get a you get a boost of dopamine inside you. And that's where your kebahagiaan and that's where your happiness comes along. Because what happiness it is, I'm going to tell you from the six human needs. It's love, number one. Two, it's recognition and acceptance. And the more you play it, the more people like, the more people comment, the more you get dopamine from your head and the more substance you get, the more happier you are. You do know this is because you tend to look at your likes whenever you, let's just be honest, when you post something, you don't look at what people say. You don't like, you, when you post something, you don't you don't look at the comments. You look at the likes, the numbers of likes that they like. But here's the catch. But if you post on something and you're thinking of dopamine will release, but suddenly you don't get that like. Suddenly you only get six likes. Suddenly you only get four likes. Suddenly you get only two likes. And this is what happened to Facebook the other day. Like Facebook, the first time when it launched, it had a like button and it had a dislike button. But now they changed it to only a like button. Because they knew if, it, if people like your Facebook post, you get a release of dopamine. But when people dislike your Facebook post, it releases this thing called stress and obsession and this thing called uh, you know, depressed, and you do know that, right? And and the, the history is like that. So that's why they erased it. I think Instagram did the same thing also. Instagram, dulu tu, they actually they actually put down the numbers, how many people actually like your post, and I think it's the same. And people come back to Instagram when they post something. They come back to Instagram and see how many people they like, how many people liked, and they will tell you berapa ribu orang atau berapa berapa ratus orang atau berapa juta orang. And you will like that, you see, because you keep on looking at the handphone, coming back to your post and saying, oh, I got a lot of likes. Then next thing you know, when you release dopamine, you keep on doing it. And you do it and you post and you post and you post and suddenly you get addicted. Yang namanya to social media. You all know this. And, um, and uh, I think lastly for me, before I leave this uh, live stream, is I got to tell you, when dopamine hits you, you'll like it. And be careful, when dopamine hits you, it becomes a habit. And it becomes a habit. And when it becomes a habit, you keep on doing it. And when you keep on doing it, it becomes an addiction. It becomes an addiction. So I think lastly for me, is very simple. I think I will quote this from the guy who actually made Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg actually said, I will never give 
social media to my children because it does them harm. Even the guy who made social media himself doesn't give social media to the child, to, to his own children. So that, that says a, sends a message to everyone in the room, right? It says a message like, why would you actually spend that much time in social media when you know it's really not good for you? Why would you spend that much time in social media when you know it's actually ruining your life? Like, let me end this now. I'm not telling you to stop social media. Actually, I'm not. I'm not really telling you to stop you know, when you're doing Instagram, posting on your Twitter, posting on your Facebook. I'm not actually telling you this. I'm really not. Today's segment is just to let you know that social media sometimes gives a new addiction and you have to be aware of that. That's all I need you to know from my, my point of view from my YouTube stream. Why? Have a point of view where you know that you're aware when it comes to addiction, you stop. Because you got to know something. When dopamine comes in, you don't know when to stop. You really don't know when to stop. So be aware when you have to stop. And you're probably right now, at, while you're watching this, you're asking yourself, no, I'm not addicted. It's it's just, cuma ngeliat aja kok. It's not, addic it's, it's not addiction. I post every now and then. Nggak, kok. Then if you know if it's addiction or not, if you have an iPhone, this is what you do. You check your screen time. And then you check the most three apps that you use on that screen time. Tell you the truth, be honest with you, my screen time is nine hours using with social media. So I'm right here sitting in front of you to tell you the truth, the honest truth about me also. I'm being honest to you. Like I myself, when I tell you these things, when I tell you this topic, uh, sometimes, you know, I know that I'm using a lot of social media. But I think the difference between all of you and me, the difference between other people and to some people, the difference between pe uh, one, a person A and to person B, the difference is awareness. Awareness is the key. Be aware if you're using too much. Be aware when you cannot stop it because there's still time for you to actually make a choice and just stop. And remember, before you finish this vlog, before, uh, before you finish this YouTube stream, live stream, just go over after you finish this go over to your screen time and see what are the three most top apps right there in your screen time and how long you used it for social media actually if you have an iphone it will tell you in that guys i want to say thank you so much for watching my live stream today i really do appreciate it for those of you inside my live stream right now in my live chat box i'm gonna shout out to you i'm gonna read your comments right now and i just want to let you know for those of you who are watching please make sure you before you leave this live stream make sure you give me a like all right or you give me a dislike i don't mind also you give me a like you give me a dislike i don't mind also whichever you want to do please go ahead you know share the love and that guys i want to say thank you so much and make sure for those of you who are new please make sure you subscribe tomorrow i have another this live session uh, it's going to be the same time it's going to be 2015 until 2020 all right so let me sh give a shout out to the chat box inside the room here it is uh, shout out to all the way for super zero uh triple one hi coach it's me Jaden. hi Jaden. i know it's you thanks so much for coming in i really do appreciate it guys go to Jaden's channel he has got a streaming game channel you can take a look and then um, he's fantastic at it yeah uh, Artia says, Daniel Hutakalung says, so why does YouTube still have a dislike? Correct, you got a key there, you got a, you got a point there. YouTube has a dislike because I think um, uh, it, it was once asked why the only social media platform has a dislike in YouTube. Because you got to know something, YouTube has an advertisement, YouTube has an AdSense, I also have an AdSense and when people watch my videos, I get paid from it. And But I've told you this once, I'm not looking for that payment because it's my passion to do this. Now, now that dislike in YouTube, they answered it this way because someone actually wrote a YouTube a letter and YouTube came back saying that the dislike button is for us to actually navigate to make people want to see your videos. Because if people just like and like and like and like, right, you will never know what people don't like when people like. So that, that's why they made it. So that's why these YouTubers, these very famous YouTubers around Indonesia and internationally, they know what to hit in the market. They know what videos, they know what content to make. And that's the dislike is for, all right? So um, that's a good question, actually. Good job. Um, Pro Channel says, Hi, Coach Ricky. I always join all your live videos. Pro Channel, thank you so much for always being here. I know you're always here. I'm Pro I'm pro Channel. Yes, I have checked your channel once, yes? And um, uh, do make good contents. You have fantastic, right? Coach Ricky, do you usually drink medicine? Uh, medicine, yes, I do drink medicine. I drink... Um, I think omega-3 is the oil, fish oil that I drink, omega-3 every day, just to keep myself fit. Coach Ricky, do you have a big house in your Animal Crossing? Yes, I do have a big house in my Animal Crossing. I have a museum, I have a lot of set of fishes, 
and um, I love to fish and I like to make the money tree and uh, all these things that I'm across here. Yeah. Coach, do you like dogs? I love dogs. I got dogs in my house right now. He's, he's sleeping in my bed. Like I got, I used to have four dogs and now I have two dogs because I gave away the two to a relative. And um, uh, Coach uh, is, Artia says, uh, thanks Rick. This was very interesting. Artia, Daniel, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Um, Monica says, do you bring the drawing? Monica, you keep on asking me uh, the drawing. And I keep, again, I keep on forgetting to take off the drawing. You know what? Because it's in a frame downstairs. You know, it's very hard for me to take out from the album. So, um, I mean, one day I'll, I'll promise you I'll, 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 I'll remember to bring your drawing with you. For all, all, for everyone inside the room, I want to say thank you so much. Thanks if I mention your name. Uh, Pratama says, um, thanks for the live, Coach. Welcome, Pratama. I really appreciate it for you being here. Take care and always stay strong, yeah? I think clean is not valid anymore. So you have to stay strong. In that, guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, watch my live tomorrow. It's the same time, all right? I really do appreciate it. Guys, uh, um, take care. And um, always remember, uh, be aware of that social media that you use. Be aware how much hours you use in your social media. And once you're aware, that's it. You can use it anytime you like. You can use it um, as much as you like. But at the same time, if you know it really, really, really is too much, then you stop. Thank you so much for watching. This is live. And I want to say, keep it real, keep it clean. And you live stream positive. Bye. This is life.